everyone, my name is Lynn Darla, and now you are watching my episode of Meet the Creators. My name is Lynn Darla Jean Gillis. I am 19 years old. I was born in Haiti, but grew up in Lynn, Massachusetts. Um, that's where I've been for a whole rest of my entire life. Lynn is my home. Meet the Creators had have challenged me to create a winter wonderland look within an hour. And the winner um, gets a $50 Sephora gift card. And so today, uh, with my model, I uh, I did the look. I uh, I was going for more like blue and darker blue and like white. And I think I achieved that achieved that goal. And I did do a cut crease or soft wave. I did a halo, and I think it came up really pretty well. a halo eye using the morphe 35b palette i used the dark uh, the dark blues and the light blues in the black in the palette and i did um the halo using a uh, white pigment called angel um it's by um classic beauty check them out on instagram and and i did the usual products that i used was maybelline foundation my favorite and i used the tarte shape concealer in the color deep and that's what I concealed with. And uh, to contour, I use uh, I, to contour I use Black Radiance, the medium to dark palette, my favorite to contour. And yeah, and then for the lips, we did a usual uh, black uh, brown lip pencil and nude lip and then gloss, and we just highlight. And don't forget the lashes. Look how beautiful these lashes are. <laughs> Shout out to Dream Collection. She out from Brockton, you know, she's hometown support girl. She's really good. Her name's KG, and uh, she sent me those lashes. She was really, she has really good, great ones. I would say um, about three years. The first couple, two years, I've just been doing makeup on myself. And this year was the year that I've actually gotten to doing other people's makeup. I think makeup is very important to me in different ways. One, I think it's uh, it's a type of art that a lot of uh, people get to express themselves with. And a lot of people think uh, makeup is just to enhance, well yeah, it's part to enhance your beauty, but I think it's also someone's passion in like creating art. And I feel like that's important to me too. Definitely my friends and family. Um, they would see uh, my makeup uh, tutorials on Instagram and I would post pictures and they would um, they would encourage me to start doing it on other on other people and besides I was in I'm in college and you'd be like that's a really good side job you know because I don't you I don't I can't work full time so it, would, it was a really great side job and also um, another thing that motivated me is I was added to these makeup pages on Facebook and I saw that every single day people were posting makeup they did on people or on themselves so that got me going be like hey I can do this too like. I want to be like known for my work so like let's get to work oh I would have to say lashes and uh, lashes and eyeshadows like my favorite I love doing cut crease I think that's one of the things like I'm really great at and a cut crease with eyelashes and highlight oh, bum. I feel like those are my three favorite thing when doing me makeup <sighs> my favorite kind of look I like um, soft glam uh, I feel like soft glam are really good because I like the bronzy looks I like um, that comes out with a soft glam and with soft glam, you don't really do too much it's like really subtle and like you still get that oh I have like makeup on but like it's not noticeable and so I like that and I like dramatic sometimes it depends like the type of dramatic we're doing uh, I'm not into like the triple cut creases like all that I feel like I'm just a simple person when it comes to makeup I do the ba basic cut crease soft glam and natural one of the challenges that I've had uh, so far when doing makeup is I'm used to doing makeup mostly on uh, darker skinned women and um, I think uh, I had a very like I would say light or fair, fair skin 
a uh, person uh, to do makeup with, that was really, really challenging because I wasn't used to the type of complexion. So I think that was difficult, but it, it turned out to be, it turned out well, the makeup will turn out well. I think um, that pushed me to also ask friends who are not like my skin tone, but like, you know, lighter, can I practice makeup on you? I think doing so, like I kind of got better at that. That was one of the biggest challenges I've faced. I've faced. And also I think eyebrows, I used to not be really, I used to do eyebrows very thick and um, some of the clients would complain about it and then I kind of got better at that. Like, yeah, I think eyebrows are like kind of hard to master to be honest because everyone has different um, eyebrow shape. So you are never going to expect this, um, the client you have today, um, eyebrow shape to be the same as the client you have like, you know, tomorrow. Like you always have to um, work with what you have. What comes easy? I think applying lashes. I feel like that's so easy. A lot of people uh, find it very difficult. And I've had like friends and friends be like, can you please show me how to put on lashes? Or can you put on the lashes for me? I have to put in lashes are easy. And uh, contouring and concealing, I feel like those are like top thing to master when doing makeup. I would say two accomplishment was uh, in September, uh, I was invited to uh, top 10 makeup artist and top 10 model of it. It was run by uh, Jacob Roman, who is a photographer, videographer. Uh, so uh, he had that event, so I had the opportunity to do makeup on a model that was given to me, and then we did interviews. Like, it was it was really great networking, so I got to meet a lot of people, a lot of other makeup artists. I think that was a really big accomplishment for me because that shows that a lot of people see your work and they want you to go on further. And I think another accomplishment is, uh, I would say, I would say this because this is like my, like, First, very first time actually, well second time I would say, actually doing another thing like this, like networking and like showing your work to people because I feel like Boston is a very small community when it comes to business. Not a lot of people know each other. So I feel like if we get our work out there, people are more willing to see and willing to support us. And I feel like that's, that's very important too when it comes to um, business, like networking and finding people who are actually want to like I guess I wouldn't say bye, but actually engage in what you do. I haven't seen who I'm against, so uh, I'm not. Oh, I don't want to say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I don't think I'm gonna win, but I think I might win. I might not. I don't know. It depends. But I think like um, if I don't, if I don't win, um, I wasn't in the mindset of winning this. I think it was an opportunity for me to showcase my work in your episode. Like I told Lola, either way, if I don't win, I'm still happy I got the opportunity to do so. So uh, if I win, yay. If I don't, still cool. I still got to be, you know, I still got to, I still got to be here. Right, Lola? Yeah, guys are doing such a great work especially like I mentioned being in Boston it's like such a small city and uh, everyone is able to like go above and beyond and like promote their work and you by you guys doing so I think that gives a lot of people um, a chance just to like be known and be noticed